Hey makers, I'm Amy and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy idea for painting a design on your walls. It's polka dot walls in different sizes and I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. Okay, I'm showing you two versions of these polka dot walls. One with just the solid color polka dots and one with polka dots embellished with metallic designs. I styled them both so you can take a look, watch till the end and see both endings and see which one you like best and let me know in the comments whether you like the first version or the second version better. I spent years painting murals in people's houses and businesses for a living and I wrote up a checklist of different items that I think you'll need if you want to try painting a mural either in your own house or someone else's. There's a link below to get a free PDF that'll give you that checklist to make sure you have everything you need when you want to do a mural. And I'm also excited I'm creating an e-course called Make Money Painting One Day Murals. I realized that the vast majority of the murals that I painted have been murals that I finished in one day. And it's a, it's a great idea for something that you can do for a side hustle because you can do it on the weekends and make a pretty decent amount of money doing a long day of work, pretty hard work, but getting that done on the weekend, you can still keep your day job and you can do this on the weekends and make quite a bit of extra money. So I'm gonna create an e-course on how to do that. If you grab my mural painting checklist below, you'll be on the list so that when it's finished, I'll just let you know about it if that's something you're interested in. All right, now let's take a look at the mural. This mural is polka dot walls, and I've done different versions of polka dot walls because I painted a lot of children's rooms, and I think polka dots are fun and whimsical, and this design would be super cute in a kid's room. I would do it in different kinds of colors and a different style. I'm doing this mural in some really intense colors so that they'll show up well on a video, and this version was inspired by Hotel Zaza, which is a cool hotel that has a very kind of glam vibe in the way that they decorate. And it's one of my favorite places to go check out the way they have things put together and decorated there. There's one in Dallas, one in Houston, there's several other Hotel Zazas. And so that was kind of what I was thinking about when I created this design. But I think it would look beautiful done in a much more subtle way, sort of a tone on tone design, maybe in a little girl's room with light pink walls with slightly darker pink polka dots all over the place. That would be super cute and whimsical or something like that. To start off the mural, I just started sketching in where I wanted my big circles to go using a piece of chalk freehand. And I was glad I did that first before I grabbed this little tool and drew them in with ribbon and a push pin and a piece of chalk to make the circles really perfectly round because when I just sketched them in the first time I realized I was putting them a little too close together and it saved me a lot of time to wipe those off and start again making them further apart to give it enough of a natural rhythm but have some breathing room so that I wasn't having to paint a hundred circles on the wall and be working on this forever. You never want to do more work than you have to do so it's important to get the rhythm right from the beginning. Uh, the great thing about using just plain chalkboard chalk to sketch your design in is that it wipes off easily with a damp paper towel and uh, I left the chalk lines up that were properly circular and wiped off the ones that I had done by hand that were imperfect. Then I just found a plate that seemed about the size of the smaller dots I wanted. I used that to trace them uh, loosely in the places where I thought I needed them and then I was ready to start painting. I like to use a flat square brush when I'm painting to get a nice clean sharp edge when I'm painting a circle like this and so that's what I used a flat square brush. And from there you just keep on outlining all those circles. Uh, I'm moving to double speed here just to get through this a little faster and show you the action. I'm pretty fast at painting circles, but not quite this fast. I used to own a home decor company that did hand-painted picture frames and things that we sold to children's stores. And we painted a whole lot of polka dots on those picture frames. Isn't that right? Well, shout out to the girls who used to work there with me. We were all painters and we painted tons and tons of polka dots. Daya Harris, Janice Watson. Pam Onofrio, Shelly Hampy, we did a whole lot of hand painting polka dots before we started screen printing things eventually and uh, then it was much easier with less hand painting. So from there all you need to do is grab a bigger brush and start filling in those circles. I did them with a fairly thin down paint at first and then I decided to go back in with darker paint, thicker paint right out of the paint can and uh, make 
deeper color, but I still mixed two colors together as I was painting because I like it to have a nice painterly look and not be too flat and solid colored. So that's what the wall looked like with just the solid color red polka dots on it. And I decided to style it up this way to go ahead and put the furniture in front of it and film it that way so we could see what it looked like. This is one version of it. You could stop here with just your colored dots on the wall. I uh, decided also after that to finish it up by doing a second version that would have gold patterns on it, which was my original idea for this. And when you get to the end of the video, you'll see that version and you can tell me in the comments whether you liked the solid dots better or the dots with gold patterns on them. So let me know. All right, so for this next part to do the gold designs, I took a gold metallic craft paint. I watered it down a little bit in a cup and then I picked four different designs to do that would be fairly simple and fast to do. I did two designs for the small size dots and two designs for the large size dots and I kept them all pretty quick and simple. The one that took the longest was the swirls so I did that on the fewest dots and in the kind of most important central places so that I wasn't spending a lot of my time doing the slowest design. Doing metallic designs on a wall is a really good choice if you have a wall that has a natural light source, a window off to the side because light coming in from one side will just light up those metallics and make them really, really show up if they're on medium or dark colors. And it looks really dramatic in a room where there is some side light coming in. That's really what lights up the metallics. It can be a little hard to film the metallics and get the full effect because you're putting light onto the, the wall directly and that tends to water out that effect of the side lighting. But the metallics look really cool in person when you're in a room that catches the light from the side like that. So it's a great thing to try. So filling in all the gold designs with a small brush is really the final step. Whatever kind of patterns you're comfortable doing is what you just keep on doing until you fill it up and that's how it finishes out the pattern. I'm going to show a little footage of me working on that while I tell you a couple other things about these polka dot walls and this design. I found out the hard way that it, it's much harder to do polka dot walls where all the dots are the same size and the dots are in different colors. That's a wall that I did several years ago. I did a room in three different colors but all the same sizes of dots. I'll try to insert a picture of this and I was painting the ceiling and everything else. It turned out to take much, much longer than I expected it to. Trying to get the dots evenly spaced all the same size but then uh, make the colors assorted in the perfectly random pattern that I wanted so that I didn't have all the pink in one place and all the green in one place and all the yellow in one place it ended up taking a really long time and anytime you're painting a ceiling it's very hard to get perspective when you're up at the top of the ladder painting the ceiling so you have to come down off the ladder many many times to make sure that all of the dots are spaced apart from each other evenly and to decide which color to do where. So when I finished that room I just felt like it was pretty underwhelming for the amount of time it took. It took a lot longer than I expected it to and I thought I'm I'm not gonna want to do another polka dot room. It wasn't as as easy as I expected. Then I saw a picture of a room in Tommy Hilfiger's house in Florida and an interview with the designer and he had done this room with three sizes of polka dots in one color. Now they actually did them by cutting out pieces of felt and gluing them on. But when I saw that picture I realized that it's so much easier to do one color because then you can put all the dots in the same paint and it's so much easier to do three, two or three different sizes because then you can put in the big dots and then if you have a space that doesn't quite come out even you can add in some little dots to make it all kind of fill out and fill the space nicely. So this is what I highly advise. Instead of one size and three colors of dots, do one color and two or three sizes of dots and you will save yourself so much time and grief by doing it that way. So that finishes up the mural with the gold designs on the end. And I'm still struggling to get that painting straight. Both times I styled it out. I don't know why I had such a hard time getting that painting to hang straight. but. 
I would love to know in the comments, you guys, which version do you like better? Do you like the solid red dots or the dots with the patterns? I mean, it's a lot. I know this design is a lot, but you know, I'm all boho. I like, I like the funky eclectic style with a lot going on. So let me know which one you like best. I'd love for you to subscribe and stay with us for our next video. Thanks so much.